Hi guys, it's Miss Karen from Seton Hill, New Kendigan, and I wanted to do a couple activities today, just October 20th, and um, we're going to be focusing on counting with our numbers behind us, which came in your packets, and some gross motor stuff, which some people don't realize or know that gross motor is kind of like gym. It's physical activity, big movements. So when we talked yesterday about our Play-Doh, that's fine motor. So fine motor is things with our fingers that's kind of small, but gross motor is big movements with our legs and our arms. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more of that today since we did fine motor yesterday. So I wanted to start with our counting, which like I said, these came in our packets from school. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the back, this one has nine and 10, but I figured we could kind of just get started with these ones. But you'll notice that there's not anything in the trees. And normally that's what we'd be counting. Some might say, well, that says number one, and that's an owl. Yeah, but so every other one has an owl in it. So we can't really count that because there, isn't, there aren't seven owls in this tree, there's just one. So we have to pretend like the owl's not there. So. The way that I was thinking of playing this, it's kind of like a counting game, um, was you can either use your crayons from your box, colored pencils, um, even your Play-Doh if you wanted to lay your cards down. We're going to be doing this game a little bit differently with another kind of mat with Play-Doh at the end of the week. But um, I also really like these. You might not even realize it, but these are temper paint sticks. In our kits, they twist up kind of like chapstick. I can get it to work. Yeah, it takes a little muscle. That's so cool. I wish we had these when I was little. But I'm going to use this today on ours just to show you that these are really neat. So for our counting mats, we want to add apples to the trees to match the number on the trunk. If you remember from who knows when, we've, we've learned about trees in the past before we were out of school for a little bit. We learned that this is the trunk of the tree. I'll actually bring this closer we can see it. This is the trunk of the tree, the brown part down here. And this is the crown, the tree leaves. And then you can't see it on here, but the roots grow underneath the trunk that hold the tree up and help get it water to grow. So our first tree has the number one. Let me move you guys a little bit closer. So you can see, yeah, I do my whole table. All right, so if I'm adding one apple to the tree, I'm gonna take whatever I'm using, I'm gonna put one, one apple, that's one. So our next number is right next to it. Is what's this number? Two, two, one, two. So we'll take our handy dandy marker, crayon, paint, whatever you're using, Play-Doh if you felt like it. Putting two apples. What, one, two. Two apples on our tree. The next number is down here. They try to trick us, because normally we read straight across. But since these are printed different, we have to go down. So this is the number three. A lot of our friends are three years old. One, two, three. So we're going to add three apples to our tree. I want you guys to try first, see if we can match up. I'll do mine and then I'll uncover it. We'll see if we match. No peeking. Ready, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Did we match? One, two, three apples. Nice job. All right, what's the next number? Four. One, two, three, four apples we need on our tree. We'll go one, two, three, four. You start running out of room a little bit, huh? Make my apples a little bit bigger so you can see them. It's easy to make apples. They don't have to be super detailed. I'm just making little circles. That's what you could do too if you wanted, or if you wanted to make them more detailed, you can. 
All right, next one, we have to hop up to the next page to this number. This is the number of fingers we have and the age of a lot of our older friends in preschool. It's this number. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll take our thing, marker, paint, again, whatever you're using, make five apples. One, two, three, four, five. Five apples. They're kind of going around the owl. Maybe he's trying to eat some. <laughs> All right, next we're hopping across like this little squirrel to the number. So you have to be whenever you're going into kindergarten. I guess you're five when you go to kindergarten. You'll be six in kindergarten. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six apples on this tree. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna let you guys try to figure out this number and this number, and I'll do them while you're gone. And you can do them and see if we match up. Good luck. All right, did you figure it out? Well, if you still need time, pause me, that's okay. It's hard work at those big numbers. So this one I'm gonna cover, sort of, is number seven. That is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is our number. So I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven apples on the tree. And this one is what number? Ooh. This one is this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So we're gonna put eight apples on this tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. If you want to keep going and testing yourself on the back of this page, I can't do it because my paint's wet. Tempered paint doesn't stay wet too long, but it's just enough. But nine and 10 are on the back. See if you can do nine and 10 yourselves too. I'll give you guys a minute to finish. Sorry, I just accidentally paused it. I'm going to give you a second to finish nine and 10. And then I'm going to get set up and we're going to do some gross motor. I'll be back. All right, friends. I hope you did really good with nine and 10. I'm pretty sure you'd be really good at it because you did a really good job with the other ones too. So now we're going to move into our gross motor activities, which is like we said, kind of like going down to the gym, which is using your arms and your legs to move around. So in our packets, we have this really awesome fall gross motor movement game. And it asks us to use a dice and these little playing cards that have different actions on them. So this one says fall like an acorn, strut like a turkey, scurry like a squirrel, grow tall like corn, roll like a pumpkin, or float down like a leaf. So those are some things you can cut those out and kind of mix them up and then pull them out and decide what you think that activity is gonna look like when you do it. And you'll roll your dice, figure out how many times you're gonna do that move. So if you have grow tall like corn and you roll your dice and you hit the number five, you're gonna grow tall five times. So go like this. Start down here and grow tall. One, grow tall, two, three, and five. I don't know if you can see my arms, they're so high. Now I have a cube already set up that I made a long time ago and I kind of wanted to try to show you guys those so you could see how um, you can change the moves. You don't have to just use these, you can make your own. So I'll show you guys the ones that I made. And I'll show you my dice too. This is my big old dice. And I have a cube that says flutter like a butterfly, stomp, swing, and swim, along with hop and march. So when I roll this, it can tell me, like this landed up, swim. And then I roll my dice. It, oh my goodness, it says five again, like it did last time. 
He'll do that move. Swim five times. You got one, two, three, four, five. Whew. All right. We're going to roll again. Oh, says hop. I'm going to roll my other dice. I'm going to roll it up here. And it says one, two, two on my dice. So I'm going to hop two. Let's see what else we can roll. Um, but down, but down. What do you think it's going to roll on? I kind of want it to land on March because I really like March. I was in marching band before and now it's super fun. Oh my gosh, you won't believe it. Look what it landed on. March. All right. Let's see what number we get. Hopefully it's a high number because I love marching. Oh, it's on four. Four. One, two, three, four. So when you march, you'll go one, two, three, four. That's a good one. All right, let's see if we can roll out another one. Ooh, flutter. What do you think it looks like when you flutter? Hmm, how do butterflies flutter? Maybe like this. They're very gentle and light. See how many times we're going to flutter. Six times we're going to flutter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Sorry, my head's cut off. I need to let's fix the camera. You guys can really see me. Oh my goodness, that was way better. Can't see my feet now though, but that's okay. All right, next we've got swing like a monkey. How does a monkey swing? Maybe like this on some vines in the trees. We're gonna see how many swings we're gonna do. Only one swing, my dice says. Just one. So we'll have to make it really big since it's only by itself. Good job. All right. Let's see if we, we have been getting new ones every single time we roll. This doesn't happen a lot. Let's see. And roll. Oh, we got flutter again. Let's get a different one. Whoa. We got stomp like a dinosaur. I think a dinosaur stomps. Do you think they just go like this? No, I'm not seeing a dinosaur do that. We're gonna stomp five times according to my dice. Dinosaurs stomp real big. They get their arms out and they go ah, two, three, four, five. Ah. <laughs> that was some good dinosaurs. All right, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna let you guys do your own. And if you want to, you can make your own just like we did with our dice. And you don't have to put it on a rolly dice like this. You can make it a deck that you pull out of, which is super fun too. But if you have something that's really neat that you can roll like this, it also makes it fun. So go try it out, have some fun, make up some cool moves. Let me know what you made up. <laughs> 